Hello guys, my name is Kunig, welcome to this new video and which we'll be watching Bedzo 2 playing with its M4A1 Revelarize on the map Sand River. Now seriously, I do not know how to pronounce this thing, the name of this thing. I'll just call it Ravioli or how people call it in the Czechoslovakian community, Revolver. Anyways, <coughs> today this replay isn't in anything special. This is well the reason why this replay commentary is a bit behind the schedule. I wasn't capable of finding anything special, you haven't sent anything to me within the past several days, within the past couple of days, so I had to go on pages such as what replays or I don't know, the death game replays and I don't know what else, there are more of these kind of replay pages out there, but I wasn't, I went there and I wasn't capable of finding anything somehow entertaining. Why? Well. If you wanna find something entertaining, so you know, something more than 1000 damage dealt or 1000 damage blocked, you've got to go by like the most experience earned or the most damage dealt or something like this. And those replays usually do not feature something amazing. They usually feature only just one guy camping at one spot for the entirety of a game doing jack diddly shit. And you are just watching a camping TD, like, I don't know, Ryan Metal Scorpion uh, sitting on a hill somewhere, not even like somehow unusual spot and he's just shooting all around himself getting 10,000 damage done within minutes. It's nothing amazing, alright? It isn't like unusual spot or anything like this. This one was actually the most unusual replay, but you could say it like this, from all of the replays that I've watched within the several days that I haven't been releasing videos, because in this replay our hero is using kinda not so traditional spot for this tank. As you might know, this tank is more like a TD, more like a turreted TD than a medium tank. It doesn't necessarily have somehow deadly DPM, it doesn't necessarily have somehow like incredibly high mobility and it definitely doesn't have any armor. It is like paper armor tank. After all, every single Sherman apart from the Jumbo was paper armor tank. Well, but what this tank has, which makes it so special, so amazing, is the alpha damage and the APCR ammunition. This tank has an APCR ammunition with penetration of sadly only 200, but it has alpha damage of 390. There's pretty decent alpha damage for a TD. Only very few tanks around this tier have this amount of alpha damage and there's absolutely like if you have this kind of alpha damage it's just amazing to watch the enemies have their health bar reduced by one quarter as we saw. Uh, wasn't that TD that uh, the Benzo was right now capable of hitting the only tier 9? Well, one of the three tier 9s at the enemy. Yeah, it was. It is object 704 if I'm correct. Yeah, object 704 at the enemy team. One of the only three enemy tier 9 tanks and you were capable of shooting it once, reducing it down by one quarter of its HP. So we can see actually how broken that alpha damage is. But what the hell is that the egg banner 2 doing? Alright. I'm surprised by what the hell was he even doing over there. He rammed his ass into that heavy tank. What was his name? Uh, into the Patriot if I'm correct. It wasn't Tiger P, it was the Patriot if I'm correct. And then he died from a shot from the Patriot. Oh, that was an amazing high roll. <laughs> 473 damage, that is an amazing high roll for even this thing. It has 390 alpha damage as I've said already multiple times and seeing a high roll for above 25% of its alpha damage is pretty damn good. And it isn't above, it is more or less nearly the maximum alpha uh, nearly the maximum damage that this tank even can deal like ever still though that last spot in which the benzo was located is quite an unusual spot for medium tanks most of the time they are only heavy tanks sometimes some light tanks spotting but light tanks will mostly sprop sp sprot i made a new word if that wasn't a word or la what the hell is with my tongue today? Anyways, most little light tanks will be located in the spot in which the Benzo is right now, so he pretty much traded a heavy tank spot for a, for a light tank spot while playing a TD that is marked as a medium tank. Well, eventually we will see him play an artillery. <laughs> Anyways, back to the game. He was right now capable of blind shooting the enemy Tiger P if I'm correct, and if I feel 
I feel, I uh, hope that I'm correct, but he was actually capable of hitting him and penetrating him blindly. In the post game set, we'll be capable of looking at that if I won't forget. Anyways, you right now don't have really anything to shoot at. The enemy heavy tanks are hiding behind that cliff over there, right where we are aiming right now. The enemy light tanks, uh, they don't really have entities located over here. Most of the time, when you are in this spot, you are hoping that the enemy TDs are like over here, over this ridge line, like peeking their noses and you can freely shoot them. Anyways, our hero in the meantime, as I was talking bullshit over here, was capable of setting the Chrysler GF on fire and the same, well, not an, on the cellar. Again, what the hell is with my tongue today? Um, he was as well capable of entering that Oni for how much damage? 339, that was a terrible low roll on the other hand. Before we saw an amazing high roll for 473 damage and right now 339. Again, another low roll, 361 damage, but he gets this some kind of payback from the RNG for that amazing fire that he set onto that, uh, the fire that you set the uh, Chrysler GF on. Anyways, you were capable of killing it, uh, and now let's see, let's see, is there anything for you to shoot at? You can shoot at Oni, but, oh, there's a nice sight. Oh, you weren't capable of penetrating the sight of its turret, sadly. But this thing doesn't even have that much of penetration, so it's not all that much surprising. But here is a juicy sidearm of the Tiger P. It might be a tier lower thing, but who cares about that? It's still a juicy side armor. The Tiger is... Overall, it isn't just like the regular, the, not the regular, it isn't just the Tiger P that has weak side armor. Even the regular Tiger has weak side armor, but the regular Tiger has even weak front armor, so yeah. Oh, another nice penetrative shot into the side armor of the Oni, and let's see if he will be capable of finishing it off. No, it will hide behind the dune that is that was in front of you. But will you be capable of shooting something else? Maybe this light tank right now. Let's see, let's see. Nope. You're scared to go out. Oh, here's a juicy target. Oh, the T25 pilot one is down. Nice shot there. I'm actually surprised that you hit because you weren't fully aimed. You weren't aimed at all. You were moving and you just randomly stopped and shot at that guy. Come on, another shot. Oh, on the move. Nice. <laughs> another lucky shot into that WZ. Let's see. Now you were spotted, but there isn't much of the things that can actually shoot you. In this spawn, I would say the only one, the only person that can overall shoot at you is the Stroer ML. If I pronounce it correctly. Simply the ML. Let's see. Another shot into the light tank, maybe, maybe. Oh, no, you were only D tracking it. But only two minutes till the end of this battle. I forgot to tell you that this isn't a regular battle. It isn't like the regular match. Come on, finish him. Nice. You finish off the Oni. Anyways, this is the ass assault. In this case, it's more like a defense. But you are defending and you have only one and a half of a minute till the end of the game. Now, is that good or bad? It's definitely good, because you are already winning and, well, within one and a half of a minute, if the enemy won't do some miracles and won't be capable of capping your point, which is pretty much impossible at this point, you will be capable of winning. So, let's see. Oh, there's the light thing again. The WZ, he missed. You are capable of hitting him again, kind of surprised by how the hell you were capable of hitting that shot. And he's doing a great mistake of trading shots with you. He might not have the best DPM of all the tanks, but yeah, still. Trading shots with this tank is pretty much a suicide. In the meantime, as I was talking, you were capable of finishing off the Lorraine. Well, you were capable of killing it with a single hit. And where is that pesky light tank? There it is. One finishing touch. Come on, shoot him. We got 40 seconds to kill him, so yeah. Come on. Uh, well, on the other hand, I understand you getting back, but for some reason the WZ went out and took a shot from you. You are spotted from the wall time. You were spotted from the wall time of you shooting at the WZ, and you were hit by the Tour ML twice right now. That thing has pretty deadly DPM. It has a tier 10 gun. <laughs> which is pretty broken actually for a tier 7 tank. Anyways, you were capable of killing it from a half of its HPs down to zero with a single hit. 
how much HP does that tank have? I do not even know. Anyways, this is the end of the battle. You were capable of winning without even having to cap or do anything like this. You weren't even capable of finishing off all of its target. But as I said, this was a pretty bad replay. This was pretty boring replay to watch, no matter what you say. But I still decided to feature it on my on my YouTube channel because of a simple reason. I had nothing else to feature and I need to release a new video. None of you are sending anything and well, I've got to do something. I can't just sit around and you know, wank off, so yeah. Anyways, in a post game set we might see that our hero was capable of doing quite a lot of damage. 7364 damage done, that is pretty damn good. Well, he was capable of getting 6 kills, but he wasn't capable of getting all that many medals. But honestly, this wasn't some super amazing replay. Yeah, it was definitely above the average. It was like 1 out of 1000 games, but it wasn't some necessarily amazing. So I would say that that's kind of an appropriate reward for such a game. You are capable of getting a top gun, high caliber, firewall effect and bruiser, all of which are rather casual rewards well the top gun and the high caliber are kind of unusual especially the top gun but still they are not all that uncommon and plus that you were capable of getting an ace tanker again i gotta point out that this wasn't some amazing replay and i'm just showing it on my channel because i got nothing else to feature on my channel but one thing that is absolutely amazing is the 174,000 credits that you were capable of earning in this game which is pretty damn high for anything if i'm correct you weren't even you haven't used a single premium round throughout this entire game, which is absolutely amazing. And yeah, still though, hope you enjoyed and I hope that I'll see you next time. Again, sorry for this video. Hope I'll be capable of finding something more entertaining in the future. Bye.